Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the blanket fade um, action in the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions to add a beautiful soft fade to your background. But first I'm going to jump in and do a quick skin edit. This is not so much a skin editing tutorial so I'm going to move quite fast. Um, if you want to find out exactly how to edit the skin um, you can watch the video tutorial for that one. So I'm just jumping in with the Instant Magic Baby Balancer just to calm the tones down in this image a little bit. And now I'm going to jump in with um, Reduce the Reds. I'm going to go straight in on the colour section to reduce the reds strong because this baby does have some strong reds there. My brush is 100% opacity and 25% flow set to a soft round brush. So I'm just using this just to calm some of these reds down. Some green shading there. I'm going to use red fingers, fingers and toes calmer. And also perhaps a little bit of orange calm. This has got a lovely warm white balance. I want to keep the integrity of that white balance there, but just taking out some of those orange tonings in baby's um, skin. And I'm just going to snapshot and flatten. Now we're going to get onto the skin edit. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use Newborn Skin Pro Perfection. This takes the need of any cloning or healing or patching or frequency separation or anything like that right out of the window. You also have Skin Pro Extreme and Skin Pro Gentle, which sit either side of this one. So if you find perfection is a little bit strong, you can use Gentle. And if you find um, it's not quite doing it, there's still some flakes and things remaining, um, some serious baby acne perhaps, you can use the extreme. But you can see this is just helping me clean up the skin really easily uh, without going overboard, without softening the skin too much or losing any of the integrity or the texture. Using paint away shiny areas just to calm this little bit of shine down there. I'm also going to cool this image down a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm just going to play the instant cool down, but change that opacity quite low. And the uh, calm, blotchy and patchy skin, I'm going to play that one really quickly. And then for the last remaining little blotches and patches of um, redness, I'm going to play select and fix. But as you can see, this is getting rid of these blotches really, really nicely. Um, whilst keeping the original skin tone um, intact. I'm just rubbing that over. It's really minimising everything. So when I do come to adding any hand editing I need to do, this has already minimised everything right down for me. I'm going to play eyelid smooth and tone as well, just for this little one here. So cute, bless her. Just washing that over. And sharpen lashes and details. I promise you I am nearly there onto the blanket fade um, part. But before you do blanket fade, before you do anything like that, it's really important you do your main editing. Leave those like sweet finishing touches till the end. So this baby um, edited, so let's take a snapshot and flatten. And move on to the blanket fade. The blanket fade paint. So you play blanket fade and what this does it plays out and you see nothing. But in your layers panel here, you have a white box. So double click this and choose a Goldilocks zone of your dark, your blanket. So not too dark and uh, not too bright. You want to choose somewhere just right, the Goldilocks zone, somewhere in between. And take your sample from around baby's head too, not around the corners. Somewhere in the middle there. Now you can select a brush, make it nice and big and really lightly start painting this on any areas you want to fade. You can paint this on lightly or you can paint it on strong. Switch to a black brush, make it smaller and harder and now you can use this to remove the effect from baby. 
because you want the blanket fading but you don't want the baby fading. You can also use this to um, to cover up any imperfections there, so just brushing it on. So now you've added the blanket fade in there, turn it off and off a couple of times just to make sure the effect is um, working nicely for your image. Now we have lighten areas, darken areas and blur areas. So let's play darken because you can see there is some darkness coming in here, some natural shadows. So I'm just going to use that over the blanket fade just to naturally darken that area up. So there's before and after using blanket fade. And there we go. You can use this to fade uh, the background. You can use it to cover up where the beanbag fabric hasn't completely gone up. You can use it to add a soft, creamy, dreamy blur look. You can add blur areas here. And this will add um, additional blurring you can use to paint over any areas in your image you wish to keep a softer focus. It adds a really lovely light blur there. So you can paint that over the background. Blurs in a little bit of banding as well if you have anything like that going on. So there's before and after using the blanket fade. Let me take a snapshot and flatten. And now into the finishing section, you could add um, any finish you like. I'm just going to go in for a dramatic vignette and subtle contrast for this one. Uh, nice and quick, nice and easy. The vignette will also help darken the background even more. Let's take that off some of this area. And there we go, snapshot and flatten. I'm so sorry if you can hear little voices in the background. So before and after. And that's using the LSP Actions to fix up the skin, uh, balance the image out, tone the image, uh, for example, um, any of the red areas there, and then the, the blanket fade, background fade here. And these are available at www.lsp-actions.com as part of the LSP Signature Newborn Complete Photoshop Action Suite. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.